Hi to all our Kangas and Roos families and friends. Um, hope you're doing really well. Hope you've had a good week. And today we're going to have a story from the Bible about a boat and some fish. One day, Jesus was by a lake and there were lots and lots of people crowded around him wanting to hear what he was telling them all about God. And Jesus said to a man called Peter, let me get into your boat and row me out onto the lake. And so Peter did. And Jesus taught the people on the shore from the boat. A little while later, Jesus said to Peter, put your fishing nets down into the water. And Peter said, oh, we were working hard all last night. We had the nets down and we were fishing and we caught no fish at all. But Jesus said, put your nets down into the water. And so Peter did what Jesus said. He put the nets down into the water from the boat and very, very soon the nets started tugging and Peter and his brother could see that there were lots of fish in the nets and they pulled up the nets and the nets were full of fish. And Peter and his brother, who were on the boat with Jesus, knew that Jesus had done something very, very special. He'd done a miracle because they'd caught no fish the night before. But when Jesus had said, put your nets down, they caught lots and lots of fish. Now today, I wonder if you could make a little fish like this. You could draw it on a piece of card or some paper and cut it out and you could decorate it really nicely. And then perhaps with your families, you could have a game of flapping fish. And what you have to do for that is you put your fish that you've made onto the floor and then you get, if you've got some newspaper or you've got a a book like an exercise book or something and you flap the book behind the fish and you try and make the fish move along the ground it's not working on my hand now but it does work on the ground if you do it and you flap the fish and you can have a race so if two people have a fish like this you can flap it make it move and have a race and see whose goes the furthest. It's really, really good fun if you have a go at that. And we've got a song about fish as well. Now we put other words to it for our prayer, but I'm sure you know the version about the fish as well. So we'll, we'll try and sing it with our fingers and it goes, one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. And then we sing that in another way, don't we, for our prayers at Kangas and Roo. So let's try and do it without getting too confused. That's me getting confused. Are you ready? One, two three, four, five. Thank you, God, that I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for our friends. Amen. Well, I hope you have lots of fun today and I hope you enjoy making some fish or uh, telling the story. If you've got a boat that you play with in the bath or something, you could tell that story again, couldn't you, about the catching of the fish. And we won't have a video next week because it's half term. So we'll take a break next Tuesday. But I'll be back with another video the following Tuesday with a song and a story. 
and an idea for some activities for you as a family. But I hope you're all doing really, really well. And we'll finish with our prayer together today. So when I'm driving in my car or walking down the street, thank you, God, for being with me and bless the ones I meet. Our hands together we must do. And as we bow our heads to you, we close our eyes and softly say, thank you, God, for a lovely day. Amen. See you all again in two weeks time. Have a great couple of weeks. Take care, everybody. Bye.